Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's Daily Chair Love Read. My name is Morty. I'm excited to have you guys here. Excited to be sharing this love reading with you today. Uh, I took yesterday off. I kind of talked a little bit about that in, in the affirmation reading today, but yeah, I came out here and started to set up. I just wasn't feeling it at all. And, um, but I, I have this like, sense of impending responsibility that weighs on me all the time right of like you have to stay busy you have to stay productive stay on top of things um but yesterday i trusted spirit i looked down at the cards i saw the star card and then i saw next to that the healing card <laughs> um and i took that as my cue right that that was energy and spirit letting me know that i needed to i needed to take the day and i needed to work on my balance of mind body and spirit so I had to take a, a step away from tarot completely yesterday. So it put me a little bit behind, and I apologize to everybody for that. Um, thank you for your patience, your understanding. Thank you for trusting me and trusting my sense of judgment. Just on maintaining my balance, right? And it is, it's a, it, it, working with energy and spirit, it's, it's different. It's an adjustment. Um, I would love to say that I'm a pro at it. Hey, I've been doing it my whole life, right? But I'm just not that guy. I'm not haven't been that guy so I'm not gonna try to be that guy I'm just sharing with you guys what I'm experiencing and feeling and going through right now presently today and just kind of bring you along for this journey um, and it's been a it's been a beautiful journey and I'm very grateful that you're allowing me to share it with all of you um, yeah, I've just been thinking a lot about right about the power of intention you know, uh, our intention is so important it, and there is such power behind intention. Uh, I was thinking about, you know, when I was looking into life and meaning and such, you know, I learned about a study that this Japanese scientist did where he took two glasses of water um, and he covered them up, right? And in one, in, on one glass, on the outside of it, he wrote, I hate you. And he, he, had, he spent energy of himself that were, it was hateful kind of energy, right? That was spent on that cup. Just writing on a note on the outside of it, right? And putting his thoughts into that. And then he took the other glass and he wrote, I love you, right? Maybe even I love you unconditionally. And he sent energies of unconditional love. And he put go both glasses in the freezer and he froze those. And when those ice crystals froze and they examined them under a, micro, under a microscope, you could see that the glass that um, he wrote, I hate you on the outside of it, the crystals were all distorted, right? And kind of broken up and they weren't appealing to the eye. They, they had lost their beauty. But the crystals in the other water glass, they were pure, right? And they were uniform and a beautiful design and texture. and all of that happened strictly with the power of thought, right? What a, I mean, what a fantastic uh, example for all of us to learn from of just the power of our thoughts on how our thoughts are energies and they're energies that have the ability to, to go outside of ourselves and to, to interact with other energies right? and to, to connect with other energies. So yeah, it's really got me thinking quite a bit about just the power of intention and um, something that I've started doing uh, just this week is uh, before starting the day, I speak to my guides, uh, my guides, angels, and teachers. And I speak specifically about my intention going into the day on, I'm really clear about what I want to, what I want to be able to share with everybody. And it's, it's all evolved around unconditional love, right? And sharing truth and sharing the kind of truth that raises everybody's vibration, um, that allows you to be able to see life through a different, a different set of eyes in some ways, right? To be able to see and feel and experience more joy and happiness in your life. That's the intention that I set every day. And I really enjoy the energy that I feel when I set that intention. And I, and I continue on with that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm working on myself. I'm trying to get to the point to where literally I can step into any day 
and I can know and feel within myself that nobody outside of me is going to affect my day at all. Um, hey, I'd love to say that I've mastered that, but I have not. Uh, I still have have things that come up every now and then, right, with certain individuals that can really just tip me over. So I'm working on that. I'm, I'm a work in progress. I really am. Um, yeah, there's an example that Wayne Dyer talked about that really rings true to me. Um, it's simple, right? And, and sometimes the best examples, the best lessons in life are simple. And that is, right, if I take an orange, right, and I squeeze an orange, am I going to get lemon juice? No, I'm going to get orange juice because that's what is inside the orange. So I, if I take myself, and what happens when I'm squeezed in life, right? Is it unconditional love that comes out? Because on the surface, right, maybe there's unconditional love there. But deep down inside, when I'm squeezed, is there unconditional love that comes out, right? Or is there something else, right? Is there a, are there other limiting energies, right? Venom-like energies that are within me. Something I need to be aware of and mindful of. So, yeah, I'm a work in progress. I mean, we're all a work in progress. But thank you for letting me share those thoughts and feelings with all of you. Um, I don't know, maybe it, maybe it also gives each and every one of you something else to kind of think about throughout the day. As you think about your intention that you set taking you into each day. Okay, April 26th. The time is 11.32 a.m. And we're pulling an affirmation card to see which affirmation would be best suited to take us into today's Tarot Love Read. Beautiful affirmation. I love this affirmation. Authenticity. The number 10, which reduces back to a one, representing beginnings, fresh starts, Who I truly am is good indeed. I am authentic in thought, word, and deed. Who I truly am is good indeed. I am authentic in thought, word, and deed. Who I truly am is good indeed. I am authentic in thought, word, and deed. Wow, beautiful affirmation. I had goosebumps when I was saying it. Authenticity. <clears throat> we can never give enough value to our ability to be and remain authentic at all times, right? Be true to ourselves. I'd love to say that I've lived my whole life and I've been true to myself my entire life, but I haven't. I, I haven't at all. Yeah. In some regards, I maybe have failed miserably in that regard. Um, but I've tried today, right? I recognize it. I'm so much more aware of it today. Uh, and I always try to remain authentic. That was kind of, that was, that was a big reason, I think, of yesterday when I came out here and I just wasn't feeling it at all. Um, that there's that part of me that just knew I needed to balance myself, mind, body, and spirit, right? And maybe, possibly, in order for me to remain authentic. Um, just to be true to myself, right? Yesterday I had to honor myself. That's kind of one way of looking at it. Yeah, that's what it was yesterday. It was, it was a way of honoring myself. So thank you very much for letting me honor myself. Okay. Opening energy, taking us into today's tarot love read. Tough little energy to take us into the read, right? We have the five of swords, five of swords. So I feel like uh, this is something that's probably already happened for many of us out there. Uh, it represents the energy of feeling like somebody stabbed you in the back, thinking that somebody had your back uh, only to possibly learn that maybe they didn't. It's a limiting energy. Uh, it's a let down kind of energy. 
Sometimes it can be a little heavier than that. Right? We can really take this personal, right? The more personalized we make this, the heavier the energy gets. So the secret to this, being able to manage this energy is to take the personalization out of it. It's hard to do sometimes. Gives us the opportunity to be more of the observer, right? The observer of everything that happens. We can't control anything outside of ourselves. The only thing that we can control is what takes place within each one of us. So it's about changing the meaning of these, of these swords, right? It's recognizing the growth that was there. Um, I don't know. I feel like I, I'm not feeling a lot of heaviness in this energy, right? I'm, I'm feeling that it represents more healing than anything else, uh, uh, providing you a sense of healing and unconditional love. Okay, boy, today's reading starting off a little heavier. We have the tower card. Uh, tower card, uh, this is the universe stepping into somebody's world, represented by the lightning coming out of the sky, striking the tower. The tower's going down. <clears throat> so tower moments happen when the universe sees that there's a necessary change that we need to make for, in our lives, right? Maybe we've received promptings to make this change, and for whatever reason, maybe we haven't followed through on those promptings, but the universe recognizes that says hey this change needs to happen it's all about you it's all about your growth so we're going to step in and we're going to move the parts and pieces around in your world to create and disrupt things and make this change for you so at the end of the day it may feel disruptive and uncomfortable but it's a beautiful thing it's always beautiful because of the rainbow that comes after the storm and the new beginning that awaits Okay, coming in next to the tower, we have the Five of Wands. Kind of a limiting energy too, Five of Wands. If you look at the figures in the card, the lions are fighting, the three men with sticks are fighting. Nobody's really out to hurt the other person, but it's limiting energy nonetheless, right? It can represent arguing, differences of opinions, um, debating back and forth right it's a, a little it represents restriction it can be also represent a breakdown in communication for some of you okay gets a little better now coming in at the center of today's tarot love read we have the ace of pentacles ace of pentacles represents a beginning right this is a beginning in the 3d for some of you this can be the beginning of a relationship beginning of a friendship, beginning of a job, beginning of, I don't know, maybe relocating and kind of creating this fresh start for yourself. Whatever this beginning represents, I feel that for many of you, there's a lot of unconditional love that's connected to it. This beginning in many ways, it provides you kind of a platform for kind of propelling you into a period of healing in your life, right? Because I feel a lot of healing taking place in this beginning. cards here we now have the page of wands coming in next to the ace of pentacles the page of wands represents a messenger right from a fire sign aries leo sagittarius it'd be a younger energy if that's the case this is news of some sort coming in there could be a lot of creativity behind this message it could be email text phone call even right maybe even a in-person meeting uh, but this is news a message that's coming to somebody okay coming in next to that we have the king of cups king of cups is the most loving king represented by water sign pisces scorpio or cancer it doesn't have to be just like it doesn't have to represent king 
meaning male energy. It can, it, this in many cases represents female energies. Um, especially if you're single, if you're head of household, you're independent, right? You can take on the king of king energies pretty easily. But he's the most loving king. He's very balanced with one foot in the water, one foot on dry land. The water represents our emotions or feelings that is feminine self. The dry land represents our presence here on earth as masculine self. So this king is balanced in both. And it's his having balance in both that allows him to be connected to source. He's the most intuitive of the kings. He's very wise. Okay, coming in underneath the tower, we have the Two of Wands. So I feel like for many of you, this is what comes after the tower moment, right? After the universe steps in and moves parts and pieces around in your world in a way to create, right? And make room for change. What follows the tower, well, a new adventure, right? Stepping into, this represents the energy of a courageous risk taker, getting ready to embark on a great adventure. It's a great energy. After the tower moment, right? If you look at the waters in the tower, <clears throat> look how rough they are, right? This is this is taking us into the tower moment, right? So I already kind of feel like for many of you, right? There's some there's some unsteadiness and some roughness that's already taking place. But after the tower, look at these waters, right? They're glass. To me, that kind of gives us an indication of what the the journey ahead for you may look like, maybe smooth journey full of maybe healing in the beginning right working its way into passion and excitement for some of you you could be traveling right dragon holds the world and the tail okay we now have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is coming in under the Five of Wands. So the Four of Pentacles represents the energy of something in life meaning too much to you, right? These are the must-haves. Uh, just like the figure in this card, these Pentacles, she feels that she must have them. So as a result, they she's given her power away to them. She doesn't have power in that tree. The Pentacles have all the power. She can't afford to let any of them slip just a little bit. So this can represent you know, people, places, or things that are just must-haves that you know, or you feel that are maybe must-haves for you in life. For this can be a way of a way of seeing things, a way of believing, right? That it must be a certain way, it must happen a certain way. We just have to remove ourselves from all the must, open ourselves up to the possibilities of anything, right? But attached to nothing. That's the secret sauce. Okay, coming in under the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Wands. So Eight of Wands represents the energy of uh, something coming in quickly into your atmosphere. Right? So I feel like what's coming in quickly is this new beginning for you because uh, this is where this card is coming and it's coming in at the center of your reading so it's a, these are pretty important energies eight unicorns charging down a mountain there's no stopping them they're coming in quickly okay coming in under the page of wands we have the three of cups so the three of cups represents the energy of friendships Right, getting together with friends and sharing in good times and good energies together. So it's coming in, falling in under the page of wands. So it's telling me that maybe for, for many of you, this message that you'll have, you'll be receiving, will have something to do with friendships, right? Becoming friends. These are good energies that serve you very well. Okay, coming in under the King of Cups, we have the Six of Swords. Six of Swords represents the energy of 
turning from one thing and walking away towards something different. Right? So the figure in the card, she's been in battle. She's chosen to lie down her swords to walk the other direction. What's she walking towards? She's walking towards the birds. She's walking towards the skies beginning to part and open up, right? Light beginning to pierce its way through. Could be walking towards brighter days. More happiness. Okay, energy is taking us out of today's Tarot Love Read. We have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is a good energy. It, it's the universe reminding you to make sure that you're taking time for proper rest and recuperation. It's very important, very important for your balance. And then we have the Three of Wands, which Three of Wands, this is a good energy. This is represents the energy of the figure in the card, she's getting ready to embark on this great adventure that's ahead of her. She sits on the side of this hill and she's overlooking the path that's ahead of her. She takes out a crystal ball. She holds it up to the sun. She peers into it, right? Trying to see what this journey ahead of her looks like, right? Which direction she should go. For some of you, this journey may re represent you and somebody else going on this journey together, right? As there's two rays shooting out of her, her crystal ball. Okay, guys, I had this Tara Lovery done. Um, I need to take a moment. I need to look at it and see where the cards are in terms of relationship to each other. Um, I need to see and feel what it is they're trying to share by way of message, and then I can share the whole reading with you start to finish. So. Hang on just a few moments. By the way, the background music that I'm playing today is 528 hertz. It's opening your heart chakra. It's the love frequency. Just some great soothing vibes. So I just recommend you sit back and enjoy the soothing vibes for just a moment. And let me take a look at this and then I'll share it with you. Okay, guys, I think I have this, uh, I think I have this reading <clears throat> understood. So our opening affirmation taking us into today's Tarot Love Read is authenticity, right? And what I feel like this authenticity energy represents is it's a person's ability to remain authentic to themselves, right? Stay connected to their authenticity as they are going through some of the they're working their way through some of these heavier energies <clears throat> we have the five of swords energy taking us into the reed which represents the energy of feeling like somebody had our back and they didn't right so it's a limiting energy um, and i feel like this energy is also connected to this tower moment right this tower moment where i don't know maybe it's like everything coming together and you just feeling the heaviness of this all at once right or maybe the realization of it that you know all along you thought they had your back they you thought they had your back right and you learn that they didn't so that can be a very heavy heavy tower kind of moment for many of you but on a very positive note, what follows the tower is a new beginning, right? This is an exciting, courageous adventure for somebody out there uh, with much smoother waters, right? It's just better balance for you moving forward on this journey.
we have this breakdown in communication, this five of wands. Um, and I think much of this is caused, right, by thick-headedness and stubbornness of like, this is the way things need to be, right? This is what, this is what needs to be taught. This is the lesson here, right? Some rigidity to our thinking of uh, this is just absolutely the way it has to be. And what that's caused in the long run is this five of wands, this breakdown in communication. It's, uh, look here. It's either about harmony, right? Or it's about disharmony. This is disharmony. Both of these energies together are disharmony. So take note of this. Let's move out of the disharmony and let's move into harmony. Let's let go of these must-haves. Just turn it over. Just turn it over and trust. We have a new beginning coming in, right? This Ace of Pentacles. This is a tangible beginning that you feel. So this is definitely you off to a fresh start, right? You recognize it. You feel you feel it within yourself that you're starting this new beginning. And this new beginning comes in quickly for many of you. It's a beautiful thing. These are at the center of today's tarot read, so they're important energies. So many of you, right, taking you into this new beginning, could be receiving a message, a message to possibly just start off as just friends, right? We're just going to be friends and go from there. Friendship's always a beautiful thing, right? It gives you the chance to get to know one another a little bit, right? To see what the chemistry is like between the two of you, to even... Right, to see whether what compatibility may be like, right? Always serves you better to start off as friends and share and enjoy these light energies together. Why not? Especially after the two of you have been going through such heavy energies, right? Five of swords, five of wands, tower moments. Right? Why why not? Why not just keep it light? So for somebody out there, you may be choosing to walk away from one thing, to walk towards something else. And what would you be walking towards? You'd be walking towards this King of Cups kind of love and energy. It's the most loving king. So you would be turning, walking towards creating and bringing King of Cups kind of love and energy into your life. It's a beautiful thing. I encourage you to turn and walk. <laughs> For many of you, it takes you to a time in your life where you can now kind of give yourself the chance to rest and recuperate. All right, this breakdown, this in communication, all these heavy, hard energies, they're finally gone. All right. They're finally gone, right? Because maybe we're just starting off as friends and keeping things light right? and then seeing where the adventure takes us from there whether or not there's a connection beyond friendship. Okay, guys, this, this is great Tara Love read today. Uh, interesting read. I didn't really quite know what to expect, as I never do, I'll, but I trust. I trust my guides completely. Um, and they came, they showed up today, they came through. I hope you guys enjoyed this tarot reading. Uh, it's a beautiful read. Uh, I hope it. I hope you recognize the energies here in this read, and you can find your truth and connect with part of your story. Yeah, I think there's some great messages of insight and guidance here. Okay, guys, it's Friday. We love Fridays. Thank you for letting me be me. Thank you for trusting me. Thank you for ah, just trusting my judgment on things and. I'm sorry for some of you that I'm a little bit behind with on your personal readings. Uh, I'll, I will get caught up. Right? I'm, I'm working on readings this afternoon and this evening, so I'll be sending quite a few of them out. Um, anyways, yeah, thank you for allowing me to help me to keep my balance in my life. Balance, which is so important. 
Okay, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful Friday. Thanks for letting me share.